to my Phil Ad TV channel. You're all staying safe and well. We're going over to Amazon Prime today for a, a British dark comedy thriller. Yes, uh, it is dark in parts. Uh, comedy, yeah, maybe smile thriller. Mm, not too sure, but we'll have a look at it anyway. We're going to have to look at something called it's a series, a six episode series called Dead Hot. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell, not, 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 we're, not, we're not dead hot here, that's for sure. Push that uh, subscribe button, push the bell notification, it's great to have you on board. Spread the word if you can, guys. Uh, I, I did a lot of promotion through Twitter, but now I don't pay for it. I don't seem to get the coverage I used to get. So any help you can get to get me some more subscribers through YouTube, uh, that'd be fantastic, guys, if you can push the word and uh, I'll be very, very grateful. And of course, if you check the channel, there's stuff for my football team as well, Manchester City. So if you know anyone who might be interested in that as well, give us a give them a kick in my direction. Or if you're interested yourself, uh, please uh, join me. Yes, it'd be great to have you on board. All your comments welcome, I will respond or give you a like and if you can give us a like for this vlog guys, uh, that would be very generous of you. Right, British dark comedy thriller created by Charlotte Cobbin uh, for Amazon Prime Video and it premiered on the 1st of March 2024 and recording this on the 6th of March 2024. What's it about? Well, Elliot uh, works in a fancy dog grooming parlour with a demanding boss, very demanding, has been in a funk, that's a good word, isn't it? Been in a funk for the last five years since his boyfriend Peter went missing, well, apart from a bloodied finger left on the floor of the apartment, and he's the brother of Elliot's flatmate, Jess. Five years on, and he now feels he's met the perfect man in Will, who enthusiastically tells Jess, yet his love life is clearly still a sore point between them, given what happened, of course, uh, to her brother. Jess is using a DNA app at this time, uh, just to add more... Uh, stew to uh, meat to the stew uh, in order to find a brother because uh, he never found his body they only ever found the finger and it will all get a little bit complicated from there so that's how we start off it stars Bilal Hasner as Elliot Vivian Opera as Jess Penelope Wilton I see Penelope Wilton as Francine and Peter Serivinovitz as Danny Scores, it's not doing great. There's nothing on Rotten Tomatoes or anything like that, but Inset Movie Database, just 144 scores and reviews as I'm recording this. And it's getting an average, pretty pathetic really, 4.6 out of 10, which isn't great, is it? And of course, uh, DVD, uh, Dom, DVD Fever's Dom Robinson sort of didn't enjoy the first couple of episodes. He, he thought it was a little bit complicated and I would probably agree with him based on that. Uh, yeah, it is an odd duck. I mean, this, these are my thoughts now, guys. This is a bit of an odd duck of a series. At times, it's it's genuinely okay. It's, it's right. You know, it's just one of these typical dark black comedy thrillers, you know, with uh, people murdering people, people with plenty of blood, etc., etc. But other times, it's just just daft. It's uh, in a, not in a good comedic way, if you like, a dark comedy way. It's just, just daft overall. It all feels very, very disjointed, as uh, Dom said at DVD Fever. Certainly, the early episodes well, only, only ever lack, only ever sort of comes together when you start to find out what's gone on in the first place. By the time you get to the climax, uh, the last episode, but uh, uh, it sort of all feels very, very wishy washy to me, and very, you know, scenes not really connected or connected in in obscure ways. And uh, I never really got to invest in any of the characters, uh, either the, the constant ones who were there throughout it or any of the weird mix of uh, characters that come and go throughout the series. Uh, does it justify a minus five score, the 4.6? I can understand that. It's uh, I'm not going to give it much more, and I will give it more, slightly more. But... Uh, I don't think it's as bad as it is. It's whether you stick with it. I mean, would I, would I have stuck with it if I was here doing a review of it? Probably not. I might have just turned it off after a couple of episodes. But uh, overall, um, it's not it's not one I could wholeheartedly recommend. But I did find okay bits in it. It did get a little bit far too complicated at times. Just silly all the time as well. But it occasionally made me smile. Occasionally it made me, me sort of smile. I might, might have even made me laugh a couple of times. But... Uh, so I will give it a score. I'm not going to not score it because it's not it's not a total disaster. But uh, yeah, it's, it's such a shame. It's, it's some some good ideas, but it just tries to get to perhaps, perhaps four episodes and le less complication in the plot might have been a little bit better. Because uh, as I say, even though I didn't invest in the characters, one or two are quite funny to watch and some of the mannerisms etc. 
Anyway, my scores, I would be fre I would be fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. I can't, it's very close, but I wouldn't be rotten. Uh, of course, on Metacritic, I'd be mixed on it. I couldn't be positive. I couldn't really be ultra negative, although I'm, I'm more mixed towards negative. Uh, I'll give it my minimum score, which is 5 out of 10. So, as I said, I, I can't really recommend it, but hey, it's all right. If you, if you can get through a couple of episodes and you think it's all right, it might be all right to, to carry on watching, but uh, a lot of people, will be, I think, will be turning this off. I think it's a simple as that but uh, and I may I may have fell into that camp myself unless I was actually planning on doing a little review on it for you thanks for watching guys let me know your thoughts great to hear from you so we meet again last one thing don't I? please stay safe everyone bye for now